Hi church, my name is Sylvia Nwokolo. I'm part of the South location of the church and it is my privilege to bring you today's devotion um, regarding one of the scriptures that I love. Um, yes, I, there are so many of them, but today I want to talk about Psalm 18 verse 28 to 29 and I'm reading from the NIV. It says, you, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Let me read it from the New King James Version. It says, For you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you, I can run against a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. Now, this psalm was written by David when God delivered him from the hand of his enemy. And whenever I read this, whenever I pray this, it just reminds me that nothing is impossible with God. You know, I just prayed for by you I have run through a troop, by you I am leaping over walls. It gives me encouragement and whenever i'm facing any seemingly difficult situation you know those things that we human term as impossible with god there is nothing that is impossible anything is possible with god and that is what this scripture reminds me of you know when you're you can imagine david and goliath you, as in clearly we all know who, who would win that battle, who who should have won that battle. For, but by you, I have run through a troop. By you, I have left over walls. By God, David, David killed Goliath. And that is the same attitude we Christians should have, knowing that there is nothing that our God cannot do. And that is what I want to encourage us today with that. Yes, we're not denying the fact, you know, faith doesn't deny the fact of, you know, what is going on. What is that? That what is that um thing that is you know that seems difficult in your life that seems impossible? Faith doesn't deny the fact, you know. Faith did not deny the fact that David was small and Goliath was big. But by you I have run through it through. By God you will do the impossible. By God you will you will come out victorious because your glory, because God's glory has to shine through you, and that is why you you know, you can do the impossible. You can do great things. And I want to encourage you, church, today that don't suppress, you know, those dreams, those dreams that you've had and and you're trying to suppress because you feel, oh, I can't achieve it. It is far-fetched. It is too, it is too difficult. It's, it's not, it's out of my reach. That is what I want to encourage you with today, that God has put that dream in your heart for a purpose. He wants to fulfill purpose through you. And it is by God you will do great things. By him you will leap over our walls. By you, by God, you will run through a troop. And I want to just encourage you that let, let faith arise in you today. You know, let those dreams awaken in your heart. Verse 28 says, For you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. And I just pray. That, that the light of God will bring wisdom in that situation that will give you the action steps to take daily, the action steps to take to, to realize the dreams that you have in your heart because with God, anything is possible. So that is what I want to encourage you with today that don't limit God, don't limit yourself, dare to dream, dare to believe and dare to know that you are the one, your life is shining for God's glory, shining forth so that God will be glorified through you. Um, and I just want us to pray right now. Father Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for your word, the entrance of your word that brings light. I thank you, Father Lord, because by you we are running through a troop, by you we are leaping over walls, by you we are doing the impossible, Lord God. I thank you for the wisdom that you grant us daily, Lord God, to do the impossible, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, for today is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father Lord, for enlightening every darkness in our lives, Lord God, and giving us clarity. We give you praise. 
We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, church, for listening. I hope you have a great day or a great evening, depending on when you're listening. Take care. Bye.